It is undeniably beautiful. Under its stunning landscape, Greenland is also rich in mineral wealth. And it's a lot closer to America than Denmark. But the idea of the US buying the territory hasn't been a live one since President Truman was in the White House. So why did Donald Trump a week or so ago suddenly say he had his eyes on the place? It sounded like a bit of a joke at first with this picture of a Trump Tower plonked on its landscape, tweeted by the president saying, I promise not to do this to Greenland. But the joke, it seems, is now over. Trump abruptly cancelling his state visit to Denmark what seems a fit of pique over its leader's rejection of his Greenland idea. I thought that the prime minister's statement that it was absurd that was a, it was an absurd idea, it was nasty. I thought it was an inappropriate statement. All she had to do is say, no, we wouldn't be interested, but we can't treat the United States of America the way they treated us under President Obama. Denmark's Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen seemed taken aback by the news, as well she might be. It is with uh, regret and uh, surprise that I received the news that uh, President Trump has cancelled his state visit to Denmark uh, on the 2nd and 3rd uh, September. I had been looking forward um, to the visit. Our preparations were well underway. On the streets of Copenhagen, Danes were less circumspect in their reaction to Donald Trump's decision. I heard it was because he couldn't buy Greenland. So if he's that stupid, um, I think it's good that he's not coming. Greenland is for the Greenland people and nobody else. Yet again, former U.S. diplomats are horrified by the president's behavior. The world has typically had very, very high expectations for us. Um, and as we look at this chapter in American history, uh, I think the world's expectations of us have, have uh, become much, much lower. This is a president who loves a distraction and could do with one with stock markets tumbling. And he doesn't like rejection or the kind of ridicule that followed his talk of buying Greenland. But is it more to do with this man? Trump raised the Greenland idea out of the blue two days after news Barack Obama is also going to Denmark at the end of September. Could the two be linked? Trump's staff became aware that President Obama was planning to visit Denmark on the 28th of September. And the contrast between uh, the reception that would be given to President Trump on the 3rd of September and the reception that would be given to pre former President Obama on the 28th made them worry about the possibility for a major presidential temper tantrum. The US president heads now for the G7 summit in France after this latest insult to a close American ally. Others gathering there may be wondering who's next. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.